Hey, howdy, hey, partners. Welcome back to the channel. I'm RJ. This video is going up on a Wednesday. Hump day. So if you're having a good week so far, I did want to give a quick shout out to all the subs here, Trippy Commentaries. Make sure to subscribe if you are new. We're going to have a big live stream later on tonight, so you'll not want to miss it. We're playing through the entire Red Dead Online update live on both the Xbox One and PS4, so you can join up. Now, last time we told you that Rockstar has reached an all-new low with the latest DLC. Well, it turns out that it's even worse than we had thought. If you have a streak longer than 28 days, well, that streak has been reset. And if you did have a streak that long, every time you did a challenge, you would get 0.5 gold. So you can collect some gold and save up for the next big update. Well, that has been severely nerfed. And this DLC, once again, has completely broken the game. We have a lot to get into. Do me a massive favor, hit the like button. Also, if you hit the notification bell, it'll let you know whenever we go live. Like I said, you can join us on both Xbox One and PS4. I have a feeling the next update is probably going to be even more expensive and hopefully not break Red Dead Online even more. So once again, let me know what y'all think about the latest DLC. Shout out to everybody subbed here at the channel. Let's get trippy, my friends. One thing I will say is it seems to be half-baked. For example, they don't even tell you what the new horses are. You have to go in... And kind of find out for yourself. There's four new Missouri Fox Trotters. The Blue Roan, the Black Tavero, the Buckskin Brindle, and the Dapple Gray. These are all pretty expensive. They are on sale. So instead of paying $1,125 for the new Dapple Gray, you can pay $787, which is pretty fair. As you can see, these horses are beasts. And then there's four new Mustangs. The Buckskin, the Black Avero. Now the Chestnut Tavero and the Red Dun Avero are a pretty good deal, $350. So you might want to get them now, but either way, despite all that, what they have done with the gold is pretty ridiculous. All right, so we're going to get one challenge. Currently we have, I think it's like a 22-day streak or something like that. Let me bring it up. So normally we'd get 0.4 gold if we did the challenge. All right, 19 days. So we'd get 0.4 gold. We're going to do a challenge. We'll see how much it gives us. And then if you want to unlock everything in the new bounty update, We'll wait till you see how much gold you're going to have to pay. Here we go. We got a shot of Strong Moonshine. So now it is going to give us 0.2, which means if your challenge streak gets reset, every time you do a challenge, you're going to get 0.1. Because that 0.2 is with a multiplier. So before, you would get 0.2 at the very least. Now you have to get almost 28 days straight just to get that. It's going to make it so much more difficult to get the new updates and get a lot of gold. I mean, you can see right now, I got 19.92 and only $1,000. We tried to do trader loads yesterday to get the cash up, and that didn't even work. So they have significantly reduced the gold. If you do not have a lot right now, it's going to be very, very hard to grind. You go into progress and then go into the new Bounty Hunter expansion. Wait till you see how much gold that it will cost you to get everything. Now, bear in mind... It costs 15 gold to get this expansion. So let's go ahead. Some of these really aren't too bad. That's $265. That is pretty sweet. Here's $175. Now, if you want the Swanson Eye Patch, it'll cost you, can you see that there? 15 gold, and there's six different varieties. So 15 gold. It costs just as much as the DLC, or at least the Bounty Hunter expansion, to get the Eye Patch. So now it's going to cost you at least. 30 gold. You have to pay 15 gold to unlock the expansion and then another 15 to get the eye patch. You may unlock the eye patch, but you still have to buy it. 235. The new saddle is pretty sick. It's $437. Again, I think that's fair, provided we actually get money for doing a trader load. The sharp buckle, $215. Now here's the toll bar knuckles. That's another 12 gold. So you already got 30 gold. You're paying another 12 gold. You're up to 42 gold. For this expansion pretty good outfit fair enough and then here is the lamat revolver variant you finally reach level 30 you unlock the new variant well you better have 21 gold to actually purchase it you cannot use it unless you pay more gold than it costs to actually unlock the expansion so what's the point of paying 15 gold for the expansion if you can't actually use what you unlock so there's another 21 gold on top of the 42 that is a ton of gold, especially if you only get 0.1 or possibly up to, what, 0.25 per gold for every challenge. I think that's messed up. Again, Rockstar has reached another 
new low. Hopefully Rockstar can fix the game quickly. It seems like every time they update online, they completely break everything, and that is exactly what has happened all over again. As I told y'all, we tried to do the trader load, we delivered it, and got absolutely nothing. Take a look at this quick clip. Who knows what else is still broken? Back in the Old West. Alright, will they give us the money? Show me the money! If they don't, we're all gonna grab uh, some pitchforks, some torches, and go to Rockstar HQ. I see nothing. I see nothing! Rockstar, you sons of bitches. You bring our challenge streak to 0.2 gold per challenge. You straight up just eliminate any streak longer than 28 days. And now, you don't even pay us for our trader load. I do think it's messed up for Rockstar to charge so much for that top unlock in the Bounty Hunter expansion. 21 gold. That's almost $10 if you want to buy it off the store. And now with the amount of time that it's going to take to actually get 21 gold, I have to say, I don't even think I'm going to unlock it for myself when I actually do get it. But let me know what you guys think. Once again, do me a favor, hit the like button. Hopefully we'll see you at the live stream later on tonight. We will see if Rockstar has fixed Red Dead Online. Adios muchachos. Until next time, make sure to stay trippy, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?